has just laid a £10,000 to four. It's then seven to two, Port Lucaya, who's quite strong. Very weak now is Fitzcarraldo. Out from five to two, on the shoulders, nine to two. They're showing Fitzcarraldo and not taken in by that car of form. Well back, Missile Cat, who was 10 this morning, is six to one on the course. It's then 14, Secret Alley, double carpet bar. But they're not backing firm pledge, one punter told me, because I tipped it as my charity bet. Nevertheless, it's trouble ahead, nine to four, firm pledge. There's the grey missile cat who's only had two runs in his life. The first one showed promise and the second one fulfilled it. Uh, he made all the running in a big field of maidens at Newbury and held on really well. The form is difficult to assess, but nevertheless he's on the way up. Certainly a step up in class for him if he can manage to run well even here this afternoon, then the horse that beat him quite nicely at Newmarket Wagon Master runs in about 20 minutes time up at Doncaster. Let's have a look at Secret Alley, this horse of course. Fitzcarraldo 9 to 2 and Missile Cat of 6s, Arkin Glass a 7 to 1 chance, Secret Alley on 14s and Rapid Success and Ari 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 both at 50 to 1. And now Fitzcarraldo has gone to 5 to 1, over to 4s, Fitzcarraldo now a 5 to 1 chance. So they race away. The grey missile cat should be plenty of pace on in this race. The grey missile cat and Secret Alley taking him along. Fitzcarraldo, white sneeze out widest of all, is Ark in Glass. And the trailer is rapid success with Ari Arie and Port Lucar and Firm Pledge following up the leaders. But it's the grey missile cap the rail with uh, Fitzcarraldo the outside. A length back to Firm Pledge. And on the outside of that one races uh, Ark in Glass. And then Secret Alley followed by Port Lucar and Ari 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 and detached by length in rapid success. For the first quarter mile, and Fitzcarraldo has come through to dominate on the right. The white sleeve jacket, the grey missile cat, the rail, firm pledge of the dark green in behind them. Barking glass travelling well. And then uh, Port Lucai getting a little bit closer, and Secret Alley just had to be checked there. Ari 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 going through on the inside, but the leader is Missile Cat by about a half to Fitzcarraldo and then Port Lucaya on the inside of Arkin Glass out wide and then Firm Pledge. Two lengths back to Rapid Success and then Ari Ari Ari. And they start the turn into the home straight and uh, Secret Alley tailing off now. Coming down towards the two, Missile Cat, Arkin Glass the outside, Firm Pledge, Fitzcarraldo and uh, Port Lucaya will be looking for room soon, but they've got one and a half to go. Missile Cat the grey with on the outside, Arkin Glass quickening the tempo. Arkin Glass and Missile Cat from Port Lucaya, the rail. A length and a half back then to Firm Pledge. They're inside the final furl on the grey Missile Cat and Port Lucaya with Arkin Glass. And as they race up towards the line, it's going to be a very close call indeed between Port Lucaya and Missile Cat. Missile Cat and Port Lucaya leave that to the judge. And then came Arkin Glass in third. These are followed by uh, Fitzcarraldo and then Firm Pledge. Followed then by Rapid Success and a big break to Ari Ari Ari. And last of all was Secret Alley and so the outcome of this, the Crawley Warren uh, Heron Stakes, it's going to be a photo between those two horses Missile Cat nearest to us, the grey in the colours of Mr. P.K. Chu uh, trained by Sean Woods, ridden by Wendell Woods at 11 to 2 on our evidence has certainly de deprived uh, Port Lucaya, Frankie Dettori with a great run through on the rails there, but not quite good enough and the third horse home is our King Glass, but Missile Cat this son of Storm Cat, who uh, was in the firing line virtually from the outset. The judge has called a photograph, but on our evidence, it's Missile Cat that's got there. Port Lucai doing his best work in the closing stages, but the post certainly came in time for Missile Cat and a great front running drive from Wendell Woods. Our King Glass showed uh, a flutter of form again, and now the ground is better. He'll be winning soon. said he needed to step up in class and quality missile cat and that's exactly what he's done again as at Newbury he's made all the running and well they just haven't been able to get to him although Port Lucaya looked like doing so halfway up the straight that's Fitzcarraldo failing there Ardkin Glass the diminutive Ardkin Glass coming on the outside and looking very dangerous indeed but just look at the rally Port Lucaya finds over on the far rails firm pledge just in the picture but that's as far as he gets he finds nothing in the straight rally but Port Lucaya does as 
uh, Missile Cat fights off Ard King Glass. Now he has to fight off the challenge of Port Lucaire as well. Yes, for those of you who back Barathea for the derby on Wednesday, you wouldn't have uh, been given too much hope from the way Fitzcarraldo ran there. But Arkin Glass, he certainly belied his looks, came with a really good run on this side, probably just gone a neck up on Missile Cat. But Wendell Woods, he really never looked flustered at any stage, just kept his head down, kept pushing hands and heels, and then it was left to Port Lucai and Frankie Dettori on the far side. I thought he was just about timed his challenge to perfection, but when he actually got up to the uh, nose of Missile Cat, then uh, this horse of Wendell's just kept pushing his head out, and, well, I think he's got there anyway. Just as the camera angle changes, it looks as though he's prevailed by about a head, I'd say. Still a photograph officially, but no doubt, as you've seen, that Missile Cat has won 11 to 2 for favourite. It was a 10 to 1 chance in some offices, and one or two people are reported to have got 14 to 1 for Missile Cat. Returned 11 to 2, the best price on the course was 6 to 1 Missile Cat. And he beats Port Lucaya, sent off at 7 to 2, with the third Ard King Glass, a 7 to 1 chance. Fitzcarraldo, very weak, that was fourth at 5 to 1. And the very disappointing favourite, Firm Pledge, his challenge never came, sent off the top of the head, the 9 to 4 favourite for Missile Cat, up in class, but many people knew he was better than the form book suggested. The Grey wins the races at his...